everyone, it is Susie, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I just finished up a fall journal that I wanted to share. Um, it's really hard to believe we're already at the end of the year. I mean, we are, you know, just finishing out 2022. Oh my goodness. But I did a fall journal, wanted to share it, and um, here is the back, and um, I just left the back with nothing on it, I because of my little, uh, this is some really vintage lace here, I just picked it up not too long ago, and um, anyway, it is two signature, and I've just kind of tied it with a little uh, piece of uh, stained linen, Let's see. Let me get my ruler and I'll measure it. I hadn't measured it, so it is about a nine, or the cover is always bigger. So, but it is a nine by six. Okay, and the page is of course being smaller, and um, it is fall themed. So, uh, also I I have a bunch of old lace and stuff. I'm trying to get it listed in the shop. It's a slow process, but um, anyway, if you're interested in the old laces, you know, old crocheted trims or even old lace trims, uh, kind of keep an eye on the shop over the next uh, month or two. I am trying to get some listed in there uh, for you guys in case that's something that you're interested in. I have got just tons of it that I have collected uh, and I just keep buying it. Every every time I c catch some of the old laces, I, I just seem to buy it. I can't leave it. I can't leave it. So, uh, anyway, so that is my goal over the next couple of months is to get uh, some of those old laces and old crocheted trims in the shop. They're great for the grungy journals when you're doing the grungies. Uh, here is, I actually use a coffee sleeve because when I think of fall, I always think of pumpkin spice lattes and... So, um, anyway, I used actually a couple of, oops, I have those in there because I had glued those flowers in. Uh, but I have one in the back and I have one in the front. And, uh, anyway, they're just little coffee sleeves that I've trimmed down and I sewed it on a little piece of fabric trim here and then glued it on. So it's, it's a good, nice pocket. And, uh, here is a couple of tags. And uh, they just slip in there. And uh, my uh, uh, digital that I used is, let me see, I wrote it down here so I wouldn't forget. The Curious Wonderland. That is the name of the Etsy shop, which I, of course, will link in the description box. This is the fum Fall Pumpkin Part 1 and Fall Pumpkin Recipe Cards is what I used uh, in here. And so I have some repeats for the simple fact that when you buy a kit, you just get so many, um, you know, like this one's just so many pieces. And so I just tried to use, uh, use it throughout. And so um, it kind of is just, uh, some of them are duplicate, you know, or even a little more depending on if I used them as little tags. So, uh, I did try to grunge up the cover. I kind of did something dumb, as usual, but you always, when you're a crafter, you always figure out how to fix it. So, originally, I had the cover just the plain uh, muslin, and I didn't like it when I got done. And I already had all the pages in and stuff, so I actually covered up my pages and stuff, and I spritzed it after I had it put together without the cover, uh, without my, you know, main thing on or my lace. So I spritzed it after the fact. So it's, you know, I like that it's spotted, but maybe under here will still be plain, you know, but you can't see it from, you know, your when you're looking at it, but on in here, it's probably a little plain. And, uh, of course, you could see here some, uh, some words come out of the spine where I actually had to go in with a brush and do the spine. But, but I love it. it. You know, that is the one thing about uh, these little kind of grungy, messy kind of little journals. They did just doesn't really matter. So I used some of the grocery bag. I have some of this paper. Um, this is like a grocery bag. Um, uh eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and uh, it's pretty thin actually it's not real thick like I thought it would be I ordered it some time back uh, off of Etsy 
I actually have a few pieces of it in a kit, a uh, paper kit that I have in the shop. I, I put some in it, but um, here I've just used some, uh, you know, just some light trim. And uh, there is one of the little pumpkin. It has a little very, uh, the, uh, the meaning of the word there, the definition. And then I did add a few of these little tags. Um, here so I even have a little bit of Halloween in there but not much just in case you know Halloween was something that you know you wanted to record in your fall journal and here are some little envelopes just out of the kit and I have made just a little a little booklet in these to go in your and then what I did was I simply just tuck that in instead of uh, leaving it loose and out of the thing. So your little leaf, just your little leaf stamp just goes right there, or your little tag. And here is from the kit. Here, I've just used it, uh, used it. <laughs> I just used, um, uh, oh, these are some little white, they're waxed, like dry wax bags, like your kiki bags. I also have those in the shop. Um, not dyed, of course, but but uh, anyway, here is the recipe card. So I thought if you wanted to jot down a fun recipe, I've, I've put all the pockets have these uh, little, uh, these little booklets in them with the recipe card on top. And I just used, you know, some various papers. I wanted to make sure that was dry. I always, if I close the book now on, because so many times the glue gets stuck, even though I think it's dry. Uh, I like to put the little deli sheet paper there. So this actually comes off. You can um, journal on the back. And it just sits over the, the, uh, the page. Now I seen, and I cannot remember, I'm so bad about that. I seen this on YouTube, but I cannot remember who done it. So um, if you know who, if you have seen the video where uh, they make these, um, be sure and let me know in the comments and I will get it in the description box. But I cannot remember who. I watched it some time back, as a matter of fact. And uh, I can't remember who it was I seen do it. So anyway, uh, here I've backed this like in an index card, one of those big index cards. So it's pretty sturdy. It's just a journaling card. And it will set in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put that back for now. And then see, this is what it looks. And you can always tuck something in on this side if you wanted to. And, of course, we got the accountant uh, paper there, bookkeeping paper, whatever you want to call it. Here I've just added a little another one of the uh, images from the kit. Here is another one of the, uh, like I said, I put all these in the pockets. So, and they each have a little, one of these little uh, images in it, and the rest are blank. So you could jot your recipe and then journal in the little book as well. And I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, and she's. I also uh, purchased the Christmas one uh, that was really cute as well from this shop. And hopefully I will get that done by Christmas. So it was just really cute. And I knew I'd forget where I saw it at. So I went ahead and just purchased it. So this is the same way. I have the little tag trick or treat. And it's really small. And then here is this. And I didn't line this for journaling, but you could line it if that's what you wanted to do. You might just want to use it as a tuck spot. So there is that. And there is that. And some more of that grocery paper. And there is your, the finishing of the first signature. I think I put ten folded pages. Let's see, one, two, three, four... 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I did nine, it looks like. All right, so that finishes out the first signature. And then in the middle, because I had brushed the, uh, oh, the coffee, I just put a little piece of lace in that little, gu uh, the little gusset there um, where the signatures were. And then this is, I got these bags a long time, or these envelopes. I've had these forever. I don't remember where I purchased them from at all. But uh, anyway, I decided to use them. I kind of was cleaning up my space and reorganizing. And I run across those. And I thought I need to remember to set them somewhere where I will use those. So uh, here is the little booklet that I've made to go in this one in the envelope. And uh, that's also what I used on the cover was the envelope. So yeah, I'll put that back in there in a minute. Doesn't want to cooperate when you're on camera, of course. Um, so here is the second signature, same way I used that apple. The apple one is used quite, uh, you know, more than once through here. So I added this little pocket here, and I've got, this is date, name, and phone number, and sold on the back. It was just an odd tag I had. This is trick or treat, you're sweet, and then of course a little pumpkin. And once again, I used that kind of gold uh, satiny trim for that. And here is your next little recipe. So you're going to have four recipe recipe cards on this one that you can put recipes on. This I really love this image here. And then this is another, just another one of the little. Um, booklets and they're just blank on the inside but this one has Hello Autumn Oops. And then here is another one of the little, the little uh, foldovers. Uh, I forget what she called them when she done them, uh, page huggers or something. Uh, and this I put my little. This journal was created by Susie. I don't always remember to do that, but. And then here I've got another just little journaling card. It's kind of, it's kind of got some uh, weight to it because I put it on those. Uh, big index card so and then here is the other side of of that there the page is a little bigger than then I mean the book is a little bit bigger than my camera position there so so here is your other recipe and this one I did it on the on the line notebook paper for the outer the outer side and there is another one of the apple this here I got another little uh, another little uh, uh, hugger there and we got trick-or-treat on a little grungy tag love the farm fresh and then here is the back side of it and I didn't put the little journaling paper behind it either. So here is just a little um, piece there. Flannel. We all love flannel in the fall. Another little image there. Some of the spotted paper. I've never made any more of the spotted paper. Um, I need to do that. It's just something I haven't done yet. And then uh, there is the back. And then here is another one of the... I showed you that in the beginning. And I have another little give thanks tag and a and a noted, and that just sits back there. So this is the um, this is the uh, journal, guys. Uh, of course, it is listed in the Etsy shop. If you're interested, it's there for sale. And I hope that you all have a great week ahead. And uh, 
Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.